Okay, hopefully this hat doesn't make me look too stupid. <laughs> Hi, my name is Makassi and today, more pickup. After not talking about pants for two years, I'm gonna talk about pants again. I picked up two more pairs of trousers and so yeah, this channel is gonna be dedicated to trousers for the next few weeks. That is until my jacket comes. And then when my jacket comes, it's gonna be nine weeks straight about one jacket. But I should say, it should be noted that I don't shop that much, but life sometimes can feel like a task after another task and you need to reward yourself for the small things so you don't get burned out or feel too existential, which I often do. So I reward myself with these purchases after going through a whole week without crying so it was a very good week so i picked up these two trousers focus i picked up these two trousers so we're gonna talk about the yellow one first because it's not for me so i don't have a lot to say on this tell her what i want what i really really want is a spice girl yeah. it gets, it gets, i fuck up my whole world pause when she told her they like oh girl Alright, so these home plissés, this is my, I believe my sixth pair of them. I think I already said it, but I didn't buy this for me. I bought it for her because I know she enjoys wearing these pants and she feels good in it and she likes the color yellow. So I saw it on Essence, I saw it on sale, but you know what? She could probably use another pair of pants. So instead of donating money to a charitable cause, I just bought my partner more trousers. What I found out recently is that, so I've never been in a long-term committed relationship. Prior to this relationship, my longest relationship was like, five to six months and what this relationship has taught me is that i am not good at giving gifts when i'm supposed to give gifts like valentine's day birthday christmas i'm the type to buy you things if i see if i see something that you like so for example for these trousers i just bought them because i was scrolling i saw it i saw the color yellow i bought her these trousers and she liked it so i was like you know what I'll just buy her more. Yeah, that's what I found about myself. I'm not good with obligatory gift giving. But my partner, she's very understanding of that. She grew up in Germany, so she's her family is more traditional than mine. Like, they give Christmas gifts to one another. It's a very wholesome family and a very close-knitted family, which I want to ingratiate myself into. I'm pretty sure I use that word, right? Ingratiate myself into. But yeah, so let's talk about these trousers real quick. So this is um, the Omplice yellow. I would say soft yellow because they do have a version of yellow that is a bit more harsh to the eyes, which I'm not a fan of. This is a size two made in the Philippines, I believe. So this is obviously 100% polyester, very lightweight. And look, it just it's so easy to pack. So it's very easy to travel. I love wearing these on the plane. The only flaw with wearing these on the plane is it gets very cold on the plane and these are not the greatest with the cold air everywhere that everybody's turning on. I'm gonna give this to her the next time I see her, which should be, I would like to say either May or July. So when I do see her, she will get another pair of pants from me. And I'm not gonna go too much in depth into it. I did I did film some B-roll what they look like with different trousers. I'll put that here. Freaky little mama. Okay. Says she on a diet, so she only eat bananas. Always in your prime, other women don't align. And when I'm on And also if you want like a full in-depth review of these, I already made a video and a million other people already made the same video, but my video is better, so go watch mine. Let's get into the pair of trousers that are for me and that I'm very excited to talk about. So let me just hold this up for a second. I'm sure you can see the B-roll a lot better. But yeah, these are the Rick Owens Gaff Bella wide-legged trousers. So I first saw these trousers on this photo right here and I instantly fell in love with the model and also the trousers. These are very flowy, obviously, very long. The materials are viscose and acetate. And another thing I should note that this is a size 40 women, which is an equivalent to a size small. I will admit it is a bit of a struggle to lift these up past my thighs, but once you get to the waist, you're fine. So I'm a natural 32. A uh, size 40 women is an equivalent to a size 28 waist or 26 waist, but I'm able to fit these because of the elasticized nature of these trousers and obviously the iconic Rick Owens gray drawstring. I love these and 
one of the beauty of these trousers is the bala 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 zippers i just love that it's exposed and that the silver thing i i talked previously in my video about the these pants the needle while like the trousers i didn't like the bronze zippers i feel like silver is the best to go silver is the best way to go so i am currently still gathering data and yeah you know treat this video as like um a trailer this video is like a trailer so a full in-depth review of this will come out soon i just need to experiment with it but yeah these trousers beautiful i love wide legged trousers i love flowy trousers they are a bit of an inconvenient to wear because they're so long and you know outside is dirt snow mud whatever my partner she does like these and i feel like when she gets her hands on these i'm not gonna get them back so i will wear them as much as i can until she does get her hands on these the material it's so so smooth uh, what's the material again viscose i love viscose and acetate is also i'm indifferent towards the acetate it feels like silk but it's not so yeah two beautiful trousers what else can i talk about oh i have been thinking about this lately i've been thinking about my friend victor put his Instagram up he and I were talking about the myth of Sisyphus and just about Albert Camus and just all of that you know philosophical bullshit Sisyphus's punishment was a straightforward task rolling a massive boulder up a hill but just as he approached the top the rock would roll all the way back down forcing him to start over and over and over for all eternity. But the vivid image of someone condemned to endlessly repeat a futile task has resonated as an allegory about the human condition. In his classic essay, The Myth of Sisyphus, existentialist philosopher Albert Camus compared the punishment to humanity's futile search for meaning and truth in a meaningless and indifferent universe. Instead of despairing, Camus imagined Sisyphus defiantly meeting his fate as he walks down the hill to begin rolling the rock again. And even if the daily struggles of our lives sometimes seem equally repetitive and absurd, we still give them significance and value by embracing them as our own. One must imagine Sisyphus happy on his way down. I think it has changed me for the better, sure, obviously for the better because I do view life as very robotic. People may think that there's a lot of free will. I don't personally believe that because when we get hungry, we eat. When we get angry, we yell. When we're sad, we cry. We have very robotic response to certain emotions. So in a sense, we are Sisyphus, you know, pushing that boulder up a mountain day by day, like up and down. But, you know, we just, we go, we wake up, we go to the bathroom, we go to work, we eat, we shit, we talk to friends. It's just repetitive. So I'm, I'm learning to find more joy in doing the daily tasks. So for example, I'm, I'm the type to view driving as like a task to get from point A to point B. And I'm learning to be, I'm learning to take the moment in a little bit more and just, instead of just saying, okay, let's go for the car ride. Cause the car is to take me from point A to point B. So now I'm like, okay, while I'm in the car, let's listen to good music. Let's enjoy myself. Let's sit properly and not rush to get to the destination. So thank you very much for that. Like talking to him about the mess of Sisyphus has made me appreciate the small things that I find annoying with just the daily tasks of living or being a human being. I have found more joy. I have found more enjoyment in doing those minute, unimportant, habitual, tasks that we do every day hopefully that didn't make me sound too douchey <laughs> but yeah it just i'm learning to take it in now so while i'm sitting here my mind normally would all be rushing okay how am i going to edit this part but now i'm just i'm learning to really enjoy just sitting here and it may sound stupid it may sound easy but it's very hard for us to just physically and emotionally live in a singular singular moment because 
life is so stressful and there there are just so many things that we got to think about whether it's bills whether it's friends family love life whatever it is we just have so many things to think about and just it can be overwhelming and realizing that when sisyphus is walking back down at the end of the day when the boulder is you know rushing down I'm sure when he's walking down the mountain, he's looking left and right. Oh, that tree is growing more. Oh, the bird is singing more loudly than normal. So I'm learning to really be more in the moment. And that has helped me a lot with just finding more joy in my life. And I like to perceive myself to be a very optimistic person. But I can wholeheartedly say that I am now a more in the moment person I, I don't know how to make that sound smart i don't know how to make that make that sound eloquent but it's just I'm, I'm learning to enjoy the daily what would normally be mundane tasks like just sitting here talking to two cameras and then these videos are going to go out like i'm not thinking about how am i going to edit this what um, thumbnail am i going to use what am i going to use for the title i'm learning to just like I'm sitting in this chair and I think I'm saying all of this because I think all of us have a hard time doing that because social media has made us all very overstimulated so like if normally if I'm sitting here a high school me if a high school me was sitting here be like damn what's going on on snapchat what's going on on instagram what's going on on facebook whatever it is it just I think the older I grow the more I appreciate doing the small tasks because life can go very fast life can get very busy so any moment that you can just take to really zone in on the moment it helps you like relieve stress and i hope you get something out of that story because i see a lot of that struggle in my friends and my partner also so sita if you're watching this just live in the moment don't think about work too much don't think about other issues too much just enjoy your time whether you're on your phone on social media whatever it is you're doing just enjoy that moment and try not to think of tomorrow's problem or next week's problem just enjoy where you are we should be more grateful to life but we take a lot for granted and i think when we're just zoning into one singular moment and not trying to feel too much about the future we become a bit more uh what's the word we become a bit more lively, more alive, more, I don't know how to say it, but I hope you get something out of this story. Hopefully I haven't wasted your time. But yeah, so these two trousers, I will make an in-depth video about this. You already know about the Omplice. I make the best video about the Omplice. Go watch mine, don't watch other people. But yeah, my name is Makassi. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye-bye. That got philosophical, huh? This is a pickup video about two pairs of pants and I talk about the best of sisters. <laughs> uh.